You remind me many years ago when I was still a young boy, uh, heading the kettles, and when I see a white man, I see an enemy. When I, when everywhere, when, even when I start working, when I, I, I never think of, I will forgive the white men how they treat me. Because they used to tell me, I'm a kefir, I'm what, I'm baboon, I'm everything. Those things are still raining in my mind. 49-year-old Michael Sedi, a South African, recalls bitter memories of apartheid, which left invisible scars in his heart. He was 15 when Nelson Mandela was released from prison. I even cry 6 o'clock in the morning when we hear that uh, the, 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 the former president, F.W. Tabriz has declared Mandela as a free man. And we never believe that because we always see the photos uh, the, 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 the photos of Mandela, the, even the t-shirt, the, we never see the face of the man. Because when we grow, we never have to see the man. But after he was released, he always used this feast. Say Mandela is free and the people must be free at the same time. And the whole world becomes like a dark cloud being shaded away and the green light the blue light, the red light, the yellow light has been coming like a rainbow. That's why we call South Africa a rainbow nation. Michael told me Mandela's life transformed those bitter memories. He changed my mind and he learned me, he teach me to learn how is to be a human being. And a human being with a human unity and Ubuntu and self-esteem. Mandela said to us, we can change the whole world in a day or in a second. Madiba appears to have impacted the lives of almost every South African. As the world marks Nelson Mandela Day, almost every leader in the world, including African leaders, are eulogizing Mandela on this day. 67 years of service to humanity have African leaders learned from the legacy of Nelson Mandela. That's a question for international relations expert, Dr. Vladimir Ankidanso. There is no leadership, trade leaders, transformational leaders like Mandela, who really saw that I need to transform South Africa. I need to go beyond apartheid. I need to go beyond apartheid and build a state, a state of democracy, a state in which tribes and color and other religion do not play a part in building the state. So they can't emulate Mandela because they, have, they are not visionary leaders, they are not trade leaders, they are not transformational leaders. Mandela, our father, Mandela, we are here because of you. Mandela, we love you, the whole world is watching. And Mandela, please be with us. Mandela of Africa, Mandela of, of the world, Mandela Oh, the Lord can be with you always. Thank you.